going on YouTube BD Kane 721 hope everybody's doing well I wanted to squeeze this video in before my 750 uh, subscription contest video was going to be posted I'm gonna be posting that tomorrow so stay tuned for that um, but because I got this in the mail yesterday this tops hobby box series 1 2021 I'm going to uh, break this open, uh, see what I get, and hopefully add some of those cards to the subscription contest. I forgot that this was coming in as well yesterday. I got my other, the other part of the contest winnings came yesterday in the mail. And so um, I wanted to add this to it. I, I really didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind, but then when it came in, I'm like, yeah, I think I need to get this in there. So I'm going to bust this off camera, but I will just open it up so you can see what's in here. I don't want to bore you guys with 24 packs of Top Series 1. I think you've probably seen enough of those videos at this point. But um, I'll just come back with a recap on this video. It does come with one of these exclusive packs, which I think... Uh, I'd have to look at the box again, but I think it's maybe one card. I'm trying to feel it to see or maybe it is a, a maybe it's just um like those silver packs from previous years so i'm going to go through this stuff in fact i'll open one real quick this one seems kind of thick let me see are they all i guess they're all about that same size i'm going to open up one real quick so you can see uh what we're dealing with here um i have not opened this product yet i know that a lot of people have their opinions about it they don't like the design. They don't like the, the 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 name and how small it is, how hard it is to read. Me personally, to be honest with you, I like the design. Um, I love cards with borders. That's just my personal preference, uh, mainly because it makes the colors pop when they actually have variations that are colored variations. So, and it also focuses the, fo the photo a little bit better. It makes you makes you really look at the photo a little bit more. At least that's my opinion. I don't know if I, a lot of people share that, but let's go through these real quick. I, yeah, I know there's some rookies that you're looking for in here, um, and I've already got a, a bunch of rookies already. There's a cool shot of Manny, or Miggy, sorry, not Manny, Miggy. There's a Stars and Service Derek Jeter card. Must be one of those insert sets. And again, I again I don't want to go through all these packs with you guys. That's too boring. So that's what the that's what it looks like. Top series one, which I'm sure everybody knows about. I will be back real quick once I bust through this. And I might even save it, save this pack for the summary video. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. Here we go, guys. Uh, recap on the box break. wasn't too bad. I, I have to admit, I wasn't really expecting much, um, but I was hoping to get an auto, uh, which I did, uh, luckily. So I'll show that in a second. This is the stack of cards. I still have the pack. I'm going to open that in a few seconds. But I have the pack, or uh, the sorry, the stack of base. I've got league leaders. Here's all the rookie cards that came out of it that um, I didn't set aside. Here are the Future Star cards um, as well. And then I've got a bunch of these 1986 versions. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy there. I did get a bunch of inserts, as you can imagine. My home run challenge card was is Kyle Schwarber. Uh, I did get two foils, this Nick Neidert, Neidert. Rookie card foil and Shane Bieber League Leaders rookie card foil. This insert through the years of Pete Alonzo. Platinum players Mariano Rivera. Uh, Derek Jeter, Stars and Service. Um, Reggie Jackson, Christian Yelich, and Paul Goldschmidt. Um, I think those are those 70 year anniversary cards, maybe. Uh, but then on to the better things. I did get a photo variation, pretty, um, it goes along with the San Diego Padres theme here. Uh, Mark, uh, Mike Clevenger, photo variation with him holding his skateboard. Pretty cool shot of him. 
And I did get a gold of Pete Alonzo. Last pack mojo on this one. I was worried about not getting a gold until I hit the last pack. It's a little off center, but still in really good shape. This might be going in my um, 750s sub contest prize pool. And then the better cards that I got, you know, the better base cards that I got, I did get a bunch of rookies that I'm setting aside. I got Mount Castle, who's supposedly a decent rookie. I have a future star of Gavin Lux. I got Alec Baum's rookie card and rookie cup. Oh, this one was just thrown in there because it's Machado. I don't think I have that base card just yet. I got Tatis's base card. I got Trout's base card. Kyle Lewis rookie cup. And Louis... Luis Robert look, uh, Rookie Cup. But the hit of the box, without having opened up this um, exclusive pack, is an auto, which I thought it was just going to be a relic card, but it actually ended up being a relic auto, number 25. Nobody crazy. I was hoping it was somebody big once I saw it was number 25. But it's of Jesus Aguiar for the Miami Marlins. Postseason 2020, it is numbered See if you can see that number to 25. So it's pretty low numbered card. So pretty good hit when you really think about it. The odds of getting something like this, pretty good hit. Probably will go into my 750 sub contest along with it might actually just go in there with the gold Alonzo. Maybe it might be a consolation prize. So that's going to go there. I don't have a I don't have thick sleeves here in the office. I should bring those in. All right, guys, so let's see what we've got in this hobby exclusive pack. I'm assuming these are just like the silver packs, or maybe they are the silver packs. So we're going to see. Let's put that little card there on the back. This home run challenge card. It looks like there's four of them. Who did we get on the front? Austin Meadows. Wow, these are cool looking. So the 1986 version, lots of shine. Let's see who else we got. We got a Brave Ian Anderson rookie card. Don't know anything about him. That's what I like to see. Let's see if it's somebody who I would be excited for. It's Machado. Nice. I don't have that card for the PC. Very nice. The last one is of the Cardinals. Jack Flaherty. These are really awesome looking cards, by the way. I have to give them a lot of props on these. I wish I got a color one, but really nice. All right, guys, that's the break. Tune in tomorrow for my 750 sub contest video. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I would appreciate it. Still trying to get my subscriptions up, get more viewers, and uh, hope everybody's doing well. Talk to you guys soon. See you.